This video is going to be showing how to repair a broken hammer shank. Um, now there are some, some instances where the hammer uh, might be broken or the hammer shank might be broken where you'd actually have to replace the shank. Um, here and here I've got an example of a, of a broken hammer shank. We've got a, um, the hammer, hammer butt um, and then the shank here. But as you can see from this hammer, the the shank broke all the way at the base of the hammer. So in this case, we'd actually have to replace the whole hammer shank, which I'll show in another video. Uh, but um, if we've got if we've got an instance where the shank broke in the middle, and you've got enough uh, surface area to be able to glue, you can actually make a repair on the shank. Um, now there's a couple different ways to do this. You can use um, what's called a hammer shank repair sleeve. And I want a disadvantage with using these. Um, they do work. Um, is it adds some weight to your to your hammer shank, which um, can make uh, some difference. But um, it's a decision that you have to make that um, if you if you want to do that. So, but it, it does work. Um, you know, you can also use uh, some a clamp. Um, sometimes I've even used thread to clamp the the shank once it's been glued. Just wrap some thread around it, and once the once the glue is dried, you can take the thread off, or uh, you can leave it on too. It doesn't add much weight, um, but these are pretty light, so the amount of weight that it that it adds is minimal, uh, so it may not be be crucial um, in, um, in in for it adding too much weight. So what uh, what we're gonna do? You can use uh, any kind of heavy duty wood glue. Here I've got. Um, liquid hide wood glue which works real good um, you, if you've got uh, hot hide glue that uh, that would probably work the best but um, not always practical to do it for small repairs um, so what I'm going to do here is just put a little bit of glue on the surface area just a dab and that's probably a big dab but uh, just enough to get it and you want to get it in all the areas that um, as ma many surface areas as you can okay and I'm going to put it on both parts if you get too much glue then then you get a lot of oozing but uh, you want to make sure you have enough so it doesn't take a ton but you want to make sure the coverage is good and then what we're going to do is just um, I'm going to use the the hammer shank repair sleeve and what you want to do is you want to slip it onto the longest end that you have available. Probably better to do this before you put the glue on, but this works too. So once you have uh, have the glue on, you're going to put the pieces together, and you want to line them up just like they were when they were broken. So so that uh, you have all the alignment and everything in place and if there's slivers that you can line up then once you once you've got it in place you want to kind of double check the alignment um, you know square it up to make sure that that it's in line this is just a little bit crooked so you want to because um, the straighter you get it while you're repairing it, um, the easier time later you'll have later on. Um, and yeah, from minimal, there's minimal uh, adjustment that you have to make later on. So once you've done that, you can slip the hammer shank repair sleeve up over the broken joint. Okay, now this uh, this sleeve is slotted so that. Um, it's got a, a, a slit in it so that um, you can pull it apart or squeeze it further together if need be. Okay, but I'm just going to slip it all the way over here, over the broken portion of the shank. There we go. Make sure my alignment is still good, which it wasn't, but uh, we'll do that. And that clamps it together so that... Um, uh, as the glue dries okay and just double check the alignment because once the glue dries um, then it's a little bit harder to make adjustments but uh, you get that lined up 
and then you let the glue dry and you've got a well prepared or well repaired uh, hammer shank there.